here we are again another pie video like i said it's a series of eight pies eight videos um we ate different pies so the next pie is gonna be pumpkin pie i know i know you're gonna say we are not in the season of pumpkin pie but um for me especially um a lot of people like them and also as a custom order a lot of people order order them i have uh two custom orders and two for my two for my shop so um people always ask and hey there's people that like pumpkins every year round so why not right if you like it there's nothing wrong with that so um this is gonna be a quite very simple pie because we don't gonna use gel wax or anything like that we're just gonna use our wax and our layer wax and then we're gonna use our piping and then we're gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon and that will be all it's like this is the most simple one um of all the pies and it's one of the favorite ones too okay so i'm gonna prepare the wax and i'll be back with you guys okay so i have here 14 ounces and 60 grams of wax i'm gonna use chips because i want that dark this is pumpkin and i'm gonna use two because it really gives a nice bright pumpkin color When it's chips, I like to melt the chips first and then add the fragrance oils because sometimes when you add the fragrance oil in the chips, sometimes it cools the wax too fast and your chips don't dilute completely or the, or the color doesn't melt um, completely into the wax. So that's one of my recommendations when you use um, candle dye and chips always add the chips first um, the wax right now was 180 so that's hot enough for the chips to melt and then you can add your fragrance oils don't add your fragrance oils and then the color because it, the chips will melt evenly And the fragrance oils I'm gonna use is blue uh, pumpkin pie and pumpkin souffle from Candle Science. Again, um, from Candle Science Supplies. I like to blend it with the pumpkin souffle. It give me a nice what am I call it? Mm. A nice blend of spices and caramel. I think the souffle gives like a caramel.
attached to the to the pumpkin pie so I like it because the pumpkin pie smell more like all the spices it's actually like an actual pie but I like to add that caramel sweet blend of the souffle Alright, so I'm gonna finish mixing this and I'm gonna come back with you guys. Okay, so I'm done mixing the wax. So for the pie, for the pumpkin pie is gonna be a little different. I like because uh, this one I have to fill it up most of it to the top. So I like to, I like them to be even. Approximately almost five ounces. I have to make another blend, another another batch to fill up. gonna make a little more so I'll be back with you guys let me make a little more okay so I make a little more to remain standing as much as we can so I like to do that sometimes
Is that okay? And So now we're gonna let our ties to set. Hmm. I just noticed this. Uh, one of the pies had a crack and the wax leak into it. Okay, we're gonna see how we can fix that, okay? But Let's let them set and I come back with you guys. Okay? See ya. Okay, hello everyone. We're back. I have to perform a major surgery in one of the candles. If you remember early, one of them kind of um, had a crack. So I have to fix it. So I noticed three of them had a crack on the So I'm going to show you two ways that you can kind of fix it. Well, I already fixed them, but um, to finish the decoration. So this one is fine, so we're gonna just add the cream. one you can see the crack on the side so this one we can do like this
need a little bit and sparkle. And whatever extra you can blow it away with your heat gun. You guys can see you see the little sparkles off. Okay, so we have our pies all ready. You guys can see, isn't that beautiful? And this is the other. So this is one or one two. I think this is our four pie. We have four more to go. So once again, um, thank you for watching. Please stay safe, stay strong, stay, stay strong, <laughs> stay blessed, and remember to like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.